everyone, and welcome to another episode of Nepi Mudiaspora. And today is going to be a really, really fun show. We're talking sports and showbiz, right, ladies? Ooh, absolutely. <laughs> we have a Denver's Broncos NFL player on the show today. We have a talk show host and a reality TV show producer, and we also have an actor and the owner of an online streaming platform. So we really got some amazing guests for you guys, and it's going to be all about fun and learning about some amazing things that people are doing here in the diaspora. Absolutely, yes, like always. Yeah. Well, when it comes to football, starts in what? what preseason is what? August. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What you know about uh, sports? And oh, I show know. Is. Stan and Slim Mahone guys on the show. I know about sports now. <laughs> okay, girl. And we have showbiz. I think we're good in showbiz right now. We're in showbiz ourselves. I mean, I guess. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> So you go, you go. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, ain't no biz like showbiz. That's like, right. That's, that's what they say. So yeah. <laughs> so the first guest that we have coming on the show is, like I said, a Denver's Broncos NFL player. Okay. So everybody, help me welcome Stansley Maponga. Welcome, Stansley. Yes, yes, We're yes. so, so beyond excited to have you on the show today. Yes, I'm glad to be on the show, and uh, thank you. I'd like to thank you guys for having me on the show. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> okay, so welcome to Dallas. I don't know if you can answer this question uh -huh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> on the camera, but Dallas Cowboys right. or Denver Broncos? <laughs> If I see two. Uh -huh. Oh Lord. Uh -huh. Know where your paycheck is coming from. Nah, you know, of course, all the way Denver Broncos. Woo! Woo! I'm with, so, you know, I'll do like this. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Just wanted to ask. You never know. <laughs> okay. Right, right. Okay. right, right. <laughs> so my question is, um, how does it feel to be the first? Let me repeat it. The first Zimbabwean. The first. first. Okay. In the NFL. Because I was very proud. I was excited. Yeah. I'm sorry. I really was. It again. The first. first. Number one. <laughs> first. Number one. Number one. Ever. Ever. Okay. Okay. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a blessing at the end of the day, and uh, I mean, I'm humbled being the first, and uh, I mean, it's a lot of pressure, but, you know, with God, you know, and, yes. you know, anything is possible, and, Absolutely. you know, you keep me on the right path, so, uh, but it's truly an honor, and, um, you know, I, I have a lot of people on my back, you know, a lot of mm. fans out there who look up to me, so, you know, I can't give up on myself, you right. know what I'm saying, even though when times get hard, mm -hmm. um, but I just got to continue to grind, grind, and then, uh, you know, Everything to take care of yourself. So awesome! awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so another question is: How did you get into football? Because you know Africans, right. they play soccer. Right. right. So <laughs> my thing is like, where where did that soccer ball go? And where did, where did that football? Where did that football where did you come stop in? Kicking and yeah. Start yeah. Catch it. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, you know, because it was me and my brother uh, back, in, you know, back home in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, it was mostly, you know, playing soccer, rugby, and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And when we got to the States, I was 12, year, 12 or 13 years old, uh, that's when, you know, we seen what football really was, you mm -hmm. know, tackling. We didn't, we didn't even know what it was, you know, what football really was. <laughs> right. Football back home, you know, was kicking the football, right, you know, right, soccer ball. Right, right, right. So, um, for me, you know, I just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> And my mom didn't understand why I was getting bigger. And I, I didn't understand myself. And then, you know, because I told my mom, I said, Mom, you know, I love, I love soccer and I'm stick with it. And she was just like, okay, okay, good. Uh, and then a couple, couple days went by. Uh, actually, my coach, mm -hmm. you know, middle, in middle school, Coach Johnson, uh, he came up to me and he asked me, uh, have you ever played football before? Mm -hmm. And I said, um, no, I haven't, you know. And, uh, and I mean, I told him I would like to try it. And, you know, when I brought the news to my mom, you know, she wasn't really happy with it because she's not a really, you know, she, she, she's so protective, you know, how of mothers course. are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I told her, you know, I, you know, I love, you know, I want to try it, try it out. And she wasn't really pleased with it. 
So uh, I just said, just give me, a you know, just let me try it out and you know, see what happens. <laughs> wow. So when I went out there, uh, I forgot what it was. I, it, it was my first play. You know, I just sat, fumbled, and that's, you know, tackling the quarterback. And he fumbled the ball and picked it up, and I ran it back for a touchdown. And that's when I knew football was for me. Wow. wow. And awesome. So that's when I knew. I'm not that's saying great. That, nice. yeah. that is nice. Wow. Right. So right now you're playing for Denver. Yes. So when we think Denver, oh, yeah. what do we think? Peyton Manning. Because we lived in Indiana. <laughs> and then he moved over to the Broncos, and you know, we love him. So yeah. what's it like to play with some of those, or play and train with some of those like big names in football? Uh, man, it's really a blessing to be, you know, in front of guys, you know, elite like that. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they make they push you so they can, you know, push to your limits. Uh, for me, you know, looking at guys like, you know, Von Miller's, um, you know, Peyton Manning's, you know, all those great guys, all those great athletes, you know, it just pushes me to be a great athlete too, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, you know, for me, you know, it's not, you know, I'm, you know, I want to be the best that I can be for myself and also be the best in the league in my position, you know, right. but, you know, there's, there's some certain things I have to do, you know, for me to be in order to get to where I need to get. So I just got to keep, you know, grinding and grinding and, you know, just look up to them guys and seek out knowledge and stuff like that. and see how they got to where they, they are. So, um, you know, it's, it's a process. So you just got to trust the process. So. Okay, so we know that you do a lot of work um, with the NFL, with like right. charity work with kids. Can you tell right. us a little bit about that? Yes, it's uh, actually called NFL 360, uh, NFL PA. You know, they do a lot of stuff for uh, kids out there, uh, especially, you know, we do things for like, you know, kids in the hospital, you know, and uh, we also do things, uh, we also do uh, charities for you know going to schools you know uh, actually encouraging kids you know just to keep their grades up you know what I'm saying wow. do right in school and uh, also you know just keep active too you know okay. what I'm saying don't stay on the TV you know what I'm saying <laughs> right. so go, outside. go outside have fun you know uh -huh. just actually play with each other you know interact with each other and uh, you know they just do a lot of stuff like that you know especially you know they love the kids so you know I love the kids too right. so you know we all love the go, kids yeah, yes we yeah, do right, right, so <laughs> that's awesome well yes. we've got some of your littlest fans yes. who are here oh, and want to cool. chit chat with you for a little bit so they're gonna ask some challenging questions too. yeah be ready be ready okay, cool. they might yeah, be ready. little but you know they right, got right, a lot right. with it <laughs> yeah. okay yes. okay so check that out yes Uh, hi, my name is Munas Simoyam, and I have a question for you. As a rugby player, how can you transition to football? Um, I mean, basically, it's the same thing, really. The only thing different, I should say, about rugby to football is you just got 20 pounds on your back. <laughs> I mean, with, like, with the equipment, like the helmet, you know, shoulder pads, and then all the other, you know, the pads and, like, okay. the tie pads and stuff like that. But, I mean, rugby and football is really, you know, similar. And, uh, and I mean... It's, it's the same thing, so, yeah. Hi, my name is Jane, and I want to know, um, did you have any inspirations growing up? Any inspirations? Yes. Uh, my inspiration growing up, actually, is my mother, a uh, single mother. Uh, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when I was growing up, you know, she took care of, you know, me and my brothers. Um, and I seen the way she worked, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And, uh, I mean... It, at times, you know, growing up, you know, you know, uh, we grew up in Zimbabwe, yeah. um, and uh, you know, it was hard. It was hard growing up, you know, see, seeing my mother, you know, work as hard as she worked, and um, you know, and that's where I kind of got my work ethic from. Uh, from. You know, uh, if a mom can do it, I can do it too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, and so that's you know, my mother's my you know my real big inspiration. Also, my brother too, uh, Michael. Uh, He's also my inspiration too, you know, the way he handles things and, you know, just stay positive, you know, no matter, you know, how things get or how things turn out, you know, that just, you know, it's life, you know what I'm saying? Life yeah. happens and it's how you handle it, you know what I'm saying? You can't just, you know, drop everything when something bad happens. You can't do that. Uh, you just got to continue to get back up because every time you get back up, something good is going to come out of that. So, uh, so those are my two inspirations. So. Hello, my name is Justice. What team do you play for? What's up, Justice? Okay, uh, I play for the Denver Broncos. Uh, it's it's in the mountains, uh, and it's really cold over there. So, <laughs> but uh, it's 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 a great place to play for, and uh, I'm really blessed to be 
with the Denver Broncos. So. Yeah. Hi, my name is Alexander. I, I want to know what was your favorite position playing on football? Okay, my favorite position. Uh, really, I was. You know, I was all over the place. You know, I could play anything. Uh, I could play tight end. I could play running back. I could play receiver. Uh, I could play middle linebacker. You know, I would just, they just put me everywhere. Um, you know, because growing up, you know, I was bigger than all the other kids. So they just let me do whatever. You know, just get on the field. And they figured ways to get me the ball and stuff like that. But uh, if I should say my favorite, um, I'll probably say what I play now in the NFL is uh, outside linebacker. Uh, it's, I like to, you know, go get the quarterback. I like to sack the quarterback. So, you know, that's that's where the money at. So I go get it. <laughs> so, yeah. One thing I need to tell you guys is don't let nobody tell you you can't do anything. You know, growing up, you know, there's a lot of people going to tell you that you can't do that. You know what I'm saying? But all you got to do is just block that. You know, you know, just keep that. Focus on whatever you want to do, uh, if it's uh, business, whatever it may be, sports, whatever it may be, you know, just, you know, go at it, keep grinding, and I always put God first. Mm -hmm. If you put God first, everything will take care of itself. And you know what I'm saying, you just got to continue to work hard, and um, you got to also show God that, you know, you're willing to work for it too, and he'll handle the rest. So I uh, just want to leave you guys with that, and, uh, and with you too, uh, you know. Uh, rugby, that's your sport. Yeah. That's my sport too. Uh, so uh, just keep at it, bro. Keep at it, and uh, you know it's gonna work out for you. And I uh, keep God first, bro, because uh, He took care of me and my family. You know what I'm saying? So just keep at it, and uh, it's gonna work out. So. Not right. Uh. Wow. So I guess your mom must be very proud of you very. and your brother Michael who's about to come on as well right, yeah. <laughs> one proud mom okay because okay. if they were my boys I would be proud okay <laughs> right. so we'll be back shortly with Michael Maponga Well, hi, Michael. Hey. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you guys? Good. Oh, we are good. good. Thank you good. for being on the show. Yes. Well, thank you uh, for having us. Uh, this is an honor <laughs> to be in front of uh, Zimbabweans. Hey. Uh, I mean, uh, I'm catering to the audience. <laughs> Well, it's but an no, honor to have you. the Maponga yeah. brothers, yes. okay? Yes. Yes. Thank you, thank this you. Awesome. So let me take it back a little bit. Let me tell you guys how I started talking to Michael. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I went to the Zim Awards last year with Mutsa, um, and Spiel was there too. And Michael, I think you were one of the presenters. Yes. And you yes. went on, and I was sitting in the audience, and you were talking about da 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 da, -da Afroline, blah, 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 blah. I was like, okay. I said, Michael Maponga. I went on my Facebook, <laughs> <laughs> business as usual. I found Michael Maponga, I pressed friend request <laughs> and right in there confirm i'm like this is good <laughs> this is good Wait. business Simbino okay? okay i took care of my business all right <laughs> she did, she did. how did you get into acting and well, um, entertainment or that whole showbiz that's a very good question um well, there's two parts to that, to that question. The first part is obviously it's the talent that God gave me and mm -hmm. I was lucky enough to discover it when I was young, mm -hmm. but um, the physical aspect of pushing me to uh, pursue acting in the mm -hmm. entertainment industry, believe it or not, uh, was uh, the show in Zimbabwe called Gringo. Wow. Do you guys remember Gringo? Yes. yes. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah, you funny. don't? <laughs> Out here. Oh, okay. So, um, you know, uh, my family, we used to sit down in a specific time because back then it was linear TV. Mm -hmm. You know, you sit down at a specific time to watch, uh, to watch a show. So, you know, I, I just saw how much joy my family got from watching Gringo. Mm -hmm. And I was, a little, I was a little boy, you know, they were laughing, they were having fun. And I was always, you know, I, I, I admired that. Mm -hmm. I, want, I want to make people feel good about themselves. Mm -hmm. So that was the first, um, well, I actually rem I remember sitting down eating sadza. Right? <laughs> 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 it was funny. Yeah, it was, it was, it was. 
you know, they were laughing so hysterically because Gringo is just a funny character. And mm -hmm. I was sitting down, I was like, man, I, 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 want, I want to do that. Right. right? At that point it is when I think it, the, the, uh, the actor in me mm -hmm. was born, mm -hmm. but I just didn't know exactly how to pursue it. Mm -hmm. okay. But that idea just got stuck in my head. And then as I matured, it just, uh, you know, I, for, it just, it was a fruition of, you know, something I had deep within me. Wow. wow. Yeah. Awesome. That is awesome. And we saw a recent article written mm. about you, a really great article. Thank you. That said um, you're creating Afroland. It's pretty much like a Netflix for Pan-Africa, mm. right? Yes. So tell us more about Afroland and how that came about. Yes. So uh, being in the uh, entertainment industry for over um, over a decade now. Wow. Uh, wow. I've, I've, been in, I've been doing this for a while. Um, you know, I, I was as not only as an African black actor, mm -hmm. but just... Uh, our people in general, you know, we were given secondary roles in films. Right, you right. You know, and I didn't become an actor so I could play a support character or, right. you know, right. our history does not begin with slavery for the black people. Okay. okay. Right. Yes. So okay. I, I got tired of that in the industry. You know, that's not our history. You know, um, people forget how great, not only the black culture, but Zimbabweans, how great we are, yes. you know, from the. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, my two, uh, my, I believe it's my Topa Empire, the Roswell uh -huh. Empire. Right, they right. forget mm -hmm. all that. You know, the history before the pre, -col uh, right. pre colonized. Okay. Yeah. So, um, the spark in me was to uh, to create a platform to tell our stories. I know. We couldn't wait for Hollywood to tell our stories wow. because if you don't tell your own stories, nobody will. Right. You know, so um, I took the initiative. I got tired of waiting. Mm -hmm. You know, waiting for somebody to produce a film that 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 uh, needs a lot of black actors. Mm -hmm. So it was time for me to uh, you know, hit the pavement and start building something, not only for myself, but for the generation behind me and right. you know, the kids back home as well. Yes. So that, that was, uh, that's basically the, uh, the gist of how Afflin TV was founded. Wow. That's awesome. Well, we, we're, we're signed up. We're yep. watching. Yeah, we're yeah. watching. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys better get on it, okay? So um, why don't you give people, tell us what the website is where people mm -hmm. can go to sign up for. Um, yeah, so it's, it's, it's very simple. The website is, uh, is very user-friendly. It's a couple of clicks and you're already watching a movie. Mm -hmm. So the website is afrolandtv.com. It's spelled the way it sounds, afrolandtv.com. Okay. Uh, it's free. That's the great part. It's free. Um, we do have premium films. The premium films are, are the big budget mm -hmm. feature films uh, that are just coming out. Mm -hmm. So instead of going to the theaters or instead of uh, the African filmmakers or Ameri black American filmmakers trying to get into theaters, mm -hmm. they can just put it on rental on Afroland wow, TV. Awesome. So okay. big, big films do premiere on the platform right now. Mm -hmm. uh, an exciting thing that I want to share with you guys is... Um, Remember when I said Gringo? Uh -huh. Yes. So we actually got Gringo the movie on Afroland TV wow. yesterday. Oh, wow. So, yeah. so we were going to watch it. So we yeah. were going to watch it. <laughs> okay. We all will. Yeah. 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 So. That's uh, it's 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 a blessing. We have amazing, amazing shows on the platform. Oh. One of the uh, producers for uh, one of uh, the biggest shows on the platform is here. Ah. She'll introduce herself. I don't want to spoil <laughs> anything. Uh, but yeah, AfrolandTV.com. Uh, it's free to sign up. Follow us on Facebook, Afroland TV, Instagram, Twitter, Afroland TV. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Wow. So, Michael, you're about to tie the knot, right? Yes. In September. Yes. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Stansley, are you about to tie the knot too, or have uh, you tied the knot? I've been tied the knot. No. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> be expecting our card. <laughs> yeah. That is, the, if you want to know the true essence of Zimbabwean, mm -hmm. that's it right there. Just wiggling your way through an invitation. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we want to thank you guys for coming on the show. Absolutely. You guys are amazing. This whole double team thing is really working and we it love is. it. Mm -hmm. You guys are doing amazing things. I know people out there are watching and are happy. Mm -hmm. So we want to thank you guys again for being on our show. So Absolutely. Thank stay you. tuned for our next guest who is actually on Afroland. Mm -hmm.
Hi everyone, welcome back. I would like to introduce our next guest. She is a fellow talk show host. She is a producer of a reality show here in Dallas and also on the Afroland Network mm -hmm. and also a philanthropist. So she is doing a lot of great things here in Dallas. Let me introduce Jennifer Myro. Yeah. That welcome was really good. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, welcome to the show. You look amazing. Yes, Thank you do. I tried. I had to bring my A game. Coming to meet you guys. Yeah, no. you look great. You look good. Here. Thank you so much. Well, you are a busy woman, right? Yes. Yes. You are writing books. Mm -hmm. You've got a talk show. Mm -hmm. um, it's called Talk Africa. Africa Talk Show. Africa Talk Show. You are on, you're a producer and you're also on The Real Niger Ladies of Dallas. Yes. And you have a charity organization. Yes. And I like wow. on the show, you say, see me see trouble, Lou. Oh. <laughs> I was like, she's in trouble for real. That's a good you guy. You the part. You can be on the next one. <laughs> I'm on, guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, how do you how do you manage to juggle all of that? Um, first of all, thank you guys for having me. Yeah, I thank you. <laughs> Once I got the email about, I'm like, I'm like, yes, please, <laughs> take me, take me. So you know, definitely African women doing their thing, making yes. stuff happen. I'm a fan already, even Aww. without meeting you guys. Aww. So thank you for bringing me. Thank you. Um, when it comes to how I juggle all the stuff I do, to be honest with you, I don't know how, mm. and that's the honest genuine on proud w answer that I have mm -hmm. um, my mom lives with me I have okay. a supportive husband so maybe that's a start yeah definitely. but overall I just feel like hey if Oprah and Beyonce are doing it okay. I can probably try okay so okay. that's where my head is at <laughs> to be honest we all have the same 24 hours <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what you right. do with it. That's awesome. Yes. Well, you do it and you do it beautifully. So Thank you so much. We enjoy watching you. We enjoy seeing all these things that you're doing. You're really someone that is an inspiration, an inspirational woman here Thank in the diaspora. Thank you so much. So, I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah. Okay, so Jenny, I have a question. Oh, Lord. <laughs> no, it's a good one. Like, okay. <laughs> like, uh -oh. Yeah. So, so how did you and uh, Michael start working together? Oh, which one? This Michael? Yes, that oh. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> The apple of my eye. The oh apple of your God. eye, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how did we start? I think I got an email. Yes. Did I get an email? <laughs> okay, so I got an email. I mean, we, my team got an email, let me say that. Okay. From some person who owns some platform who had seen, I think, a trailer or something okay. like that. And they were like, hey, you know, we would like to meet with you. And, you know, first of all, I was enthused that this person was African, mm -hmm. to be honest. Okay. That was my first, right. you know, happy dance moment. Uh -huh. So I told my husband about it. And he was like, um, you know, I don't really know those people mm -hmm. that much. You might want to research them. I'm like, hey, they're, from, they're out here in Dallas. Mm -hmm. I can meet him. It's right. not like he's right. just having a conversation over the phone. Right. He's like, oh, you can meet him. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Fast forward, <laughs> two people sitting in in and out Burger. We, Ooh, we almost couldn't stop talking. Oh. It was pitiful. Oh. We got home and we started emailing back the information we were originally supposed to give each other over there. Because we got there and talked the whole time and didn't even Get transport right. the main business stuff. Right. You know. So I met him and I'm like, okay. First of all, this is a young man. It's not like an old, old guy who has <laughs> stolen some money from Africa. <laughs> okay. you know? Say that again, yeah. Jennifer. Say he it again. He stole some money from Africa <laughs> Thank somewhere. You. He Thank is you. working hard and trying to do things differently, and that's how I believe I am. Wow. So that's how I fell in love, and we've been married ever since. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Well, like that. <laughs> Awesome, yes, yes. So, you know, I'm very excited to work with him. He's a great guy. And I feel like eventually with the trajectory of Afroland and what the visions I know from a business stance that Michael has for that platform, mm -hmm. we are not going to believe Afroland in the next couple oh, of years. Wow. And I'm just, part, I'm just happy to be part of the family. So I need yes. to give it up to my, give it up yes. to my boo here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is more of a cultural question. What is the difference between uh, Ebal and 
What's the other one? Yoruba. Bini? Yeah. Oh, Yoruba. Yoruba. There's so many. So there's so many. So yeah, Igbo yeah. and Yoruba, since those are the ones we always hear. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Nigeria has tons of ethnic groups, uh -huh. but the popular ones are Igbo, Yoruba, and Aosa. Okay. So they are the three like popular ones. Okay. So, you know, like I would be under the Igbo people. Like if you were to just split Nigeria into three, mm -hmm. they'll probably put me in that line. Okay. Um, but, you know, there's no difference. We're just there's known for different things. Mm -hmm. The Yoruba people are popularly known to be ethnic educated and well read mm -hmm. Igbo people are like business people and okay. they you know and then the Alsa people not so not so educated but somehow mm -hmm. they have all the money because they still <laughs> But anyway, so that's pretty much it. So. Okay. Yeah. so we see a bit of that playing out in the show. Like we see uh, one of the girls, Latoya, talking about dating an Igbo guy and all that kind of yeah. stuff. So we know it exists, but do you find that when you come here and you're living away from Nigeria, does that play out a lot? Like, you know, separation of ethnic groups or tribes or whatever because I know there's a lot of tribalism in other countries and yeah. cultures. But do you see that here or is it more like, hey, we're all Nigerian, let's just put all that stuff to the side. Mm, that's a good question. I think it still plays out because okay. naturally we want to cling to what we're familiar with. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, even um, amongst my friends and mm -hmm. stuff, I see that oh, the Yoruba people are more cliquish, okay. the these people are more cliquish. I personally honestly do not care okay. about mm -hmm. any of that. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of things that people bother about do not bother me. Okay. I would judge you mostly by how I perceive you. Okay. Wow. Because, you know, because Igbo people, to be honest, Igbo ladies are known. Oh, I don't know if I should. Michael, should I go on? <laughs> Please go on. <laughs> Please go on. <laughs> I mean, just out there in the streets. Okay. You know, Igbo people, Igbo <laughs> girls would not be your friend if they cannot benefit from you. Okay. But I have Igbo friends who I genuinely believe are my friends and who maybe don't benefit anything from me. Okay. So, you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. So, so there is that. So, okay. it's, I think it plays out everywhere. Especially okay. if your parents are still alive and your grandparents, you know, oh, even yeah. if you don't think about it, they'll tell you, hey, that guy is from Bini, no, Bini, witch people playing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, so okay. it still plays out. Okay. Okay, so I've been following the episodes. Oh, Latoya and Jenny Coco. I love those two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, come on, come on, come on. Uh, there's a part where Latoya was outside with uh, Jenny Coco mm -hmm. when they had gone to the restaurant. Uh -huh. And they were talking, and Je I think Latoya was like, "Why did you get your friend there?" Yeah. And Jenny Coco goes, ah, "She's my friend. I can say anything in front right, of her. Right. I, I just right, love right, right, I just right, love right, the right, friction." Right. Yeah, you know, when we, when, and I thank you guys for watching. Oh, yeah. That makes me yeah. feel really good. Oh, yeah, I enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. So when you, you know, when we started production, we did not want to be very drama, drama ish. Right. Mm -hmm. We were very conscious. I mean, you guys didn't see half of what happened, <laughs> but I didn't want it to be too. Oh, drama. No, okay. I was trying to be careful. But at some point, you have to still show what's on the show. Yeah. Otherwise, you edit the whole thing out and there's no show. Right. Right. So, yeah, they do get at it, but uh, I don't, that's all I'm going to say. Okay, girl. Okay. <laughs> so, what's coming up in the next season? Can you share a little snippet? <laughs> <laughs> Michael's like, Michael's just, like, just, just, a, just a little tinge. <laughs> okay, in the new season, we have tons and tons of new people on okay okay so mm -hmm. we have oh i wish i could name drop but i cannot okay, okay. okay. some people you guys probably know whoa uh, we got some amazing people that are on and who are gonna take the show i think to the next level okay we have more people on our crew some amazing oh amazing so yeah what what can i really say that i that's like a real michael what can i share that's fair um, <laughs> well f from um i guess tv network uh, perspective mm -hmm. production value has increased in the second. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. Awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. To go to. Right. So season one and two will be on Linda Ikeji um, TV. I don't okay. know if you guys know her. She's a popular blogger in Nigeria. Okay. And she's super. Yeah. So she's launching a network. Wow. The show will be on there. And of course, we're on FLNTV.com. Mm -hmm. And we're currently on Spice TV. We're talking to tons of networks. Everybody Great. wants us on their show, on their platform. But we want to be careful so they don't kind of take control of what we're doing right. so yeah awesome we're proud of you 
Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Well, thank you so much, Miss Jennifer, for coming. Michael Stansley, amazing. This has been an awesome show. I know you guys are just as inspired as we have been. Okay, and Jennifer, mm -hmm. since you know it. you're here. Do it, honey, do it. Do it, girl, do it. You know, I'm not I'm not Nigerian, but if you ever just need someone to just come in and just, you know, just do a little song song on the show, you just just call me. <laughs> I love it. It's amazing. It's amazing. Oh, she was dying for me to do yeah, that. Do it. Just come on. To go to Nigeria. Do your Nigerian accent. To to Nigeria. I hear you have a Nigerian accent moment. Mm -hmm. Do it. Come on. Yeah, what's this? You know, it just it just comes up sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't. We can definitely have you on the show because we have Africans from all parts of awesome. Africa on the show. So. Awesome. So, so this yeah. is closed mouths don't get fed. Oh, okay. Yeah. You want something? Say something. Say something. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but honestly, thank you guys so much. This is an awesome episode of Dave and Diaspora. Keep watching all the episodes and make sure you check out all of these guys' shows, the networks. Check out for, uh, look out for Stansley, mm -hmm. Denver Broncos. Okay. All Zimbabwe and start supporting yes. the Broncos, okay? All right. <laughs> They're going to be in the Super Bowl. Woo! Yeah. Woo!